Another championship edition of Buck Update Central, the weekly ETSU Athletics Highlight Show, and I'm Parker Schwartz. A lot to go over as usual as baseball was at home to play four games against Marshall and Gardner-Webb as they trek into their Southern Conference schedule. Softball with another tournament down in Kennesaw, Georgia, a spring break trip for men's tennis in Florida, women's golf a very fine finish, but the most important thing was the celebration that occurred for men's basketball after a 27-7 season. On the brink of history, ETSU going into the tournament for the 10th time in program history. The Buccaneers winners of the Southern Conference Sunday at the Millennium Center. Over 1,000 fans, faculty, and players in attendance to see the Bucs seed in the NCAA tournament. And it didn't take long for ETSU to learn of their fate. <laughs> A 13 seed in the East region playing four seed Florida. Tip time on Thursday at 310 on True TV. The radio broadcast starts with a 245 Atmos Energy pregame show on the flagship station of the Bucks, AM 640 WXSM. Transitioning to baseball, back home at Thomas Stadium, the Bucks hosting Marshall during the midweek. They lost 9 to 3 to a powerful thundering herd offense. The Bucks down 9 to nothing at one point, but they scored 3 runs to end the contest. Hits by Aaron Mayer and Hagen Owenby generated the offense in the sixth inning. And with a late comeback attempt in the ninth, Christian Bailey came home to score. The Kingsport native two for four on the day as ETSU dropped their second straight. But the Bucks fought back in a doubleheader Friday, outscoring Gardner-Webb 24 to eight. The Bucks offense played at a season high 19 runs in game one. Caleb Longley with two home runs and six driven in. Chris Cook also a round tripper for home run U. Game two saw three RBI for Aaron Mayer and his first homer of the season. The pitching phenomenal. Jamin McCann totaled eight and two thirds innings pitched to move to two and zero on the season. Buck pitchers 18 Ks throughout the day. Saturday the running Bulldogs salvaged the series finale five to one. The pitching stole the headlines for the Bucks. Blake Smith lasted five innings on five strikeouts. And the Buck bullpen went four scoreless as ETSU plays UNC Asheville next on Wednesday night. Softball in Kennesaw, Georgia taking on the Owls in the final game of the Owl Challenge. After losses to Tennessee Tech and Michigan State, ETSU dropped the last game 7-5. Mounting a comeback in the sixth, leadoff batter Makia Johnson with a sack flying for the Bucks. Two batters later, Danielle Canuta continued her fine season with a two RBI double. Her seventh two-bagger, Canuta with an average over 370 this season. The Bucks at 8-14 overall. They host Radford and Tennessee Tech this weekend for four games. Spring break, a trip to Florida for Yasser Zatini's group. They polished off two victories over Florida Atlantic and Florida Gulf Coast. And the 4-2 win over the Owls, David Bioska, David Gonzalez, and Wenceslau Albin with victories. The Bucks also took the doubles point. Two days later, a 4-0 triumph over former A-Sun rival FGCU. Robert Herrera back on the winning track to lead the Bucks, who play at Wofford to start conference play Saturday. On the golf course now, for the first time in her collegiate career, sophomore Loy He Ying earned first place honors at the River Landing Classic as she posted an overall score of 3-under and the ETSU women's golf team finished second as the team recorded a 21 over 885 on Friday. We'll have a full breakdown of the Bucks NCAA tournament run next week. I've been Parker Schwartz for another edition of Buck Update Central. <laughs>